The light-emitting diode, or LED screen object, simulates a variety of low-resolution LED screens in arrays on a base structure. The LED screen tool is found in the Event Design toolset. To place an LED screen, select the LED screen tool. In the top left, we will find the standard insertion modes to place it. Select the modes you want to use, and then click once in the drawing, and then again to set its rotation. If this is the first time placing one of these in your drawing, you will be prompted with the Object Properties dialog. Click OK on this, as we can adjust these same settings in the Object Info palette. Module Shape allows us to select the shape for the screen modules in the array. These options are Tile Flat, Tile Cap, Disk Flat, Disk Cap, Tube, and Dome. Depending on the module shape selected, the next options will let us change the size of the module shapes. Build Array Based On provides three options on how the array is calculated. Module Counts and Spacing sets the size of the entire LED array based on the number of modules specified in the horizontal and vertical directions, as well as the horizontal and vertical spacing distance set between the modules. Overall Dimensions and Spacing sets the size of the entire LED array based on the specified array width and height, as well as the horizontal and vertical spacing between the modules. Overall Dimensions and Module Counts sets the size of the entire LED array based on the specified array width and height, as well as the number of modules specified in the horizontal and vertical directions. The spacing is automatically calculated. Pixels per module specifies the number of horizontal and vertical pixels for each module. This setting is for calculation purposes only, and we will not see any changes in the model as these settings are adjusted. Array size, pixels, and array aspect are automatically calculated on the above settings. Base structure selects the base structure for the array. There are seven different base structure options. Blocks, frame, curtain, web, vertical strips, horizontal strips, and none. Based on the type of base structure selected, the next options will be the options to adjust the size of the base structure geometry. Tilt specifies the tilt angle of the screen array. Simple 3D creates a single textured 3D polygon to represent the screen modules. This speeds up rendering when each module does not need to be individually shown. If you have a file with large LED screens, I would recommend using this option if possible. Edit Array Image opens the Edit Screen Image dialog box. If you want to bring in your own image for the LED screen, you will need to create an image-based RenderWorks texture in the file. Below the array image, there will be options for adjusting the scale and shift of the texture on the LED screen. Select Vision Video Source opens the Select Vision Video Source dialog for identifying a video source for the vision program. In Vectorworks, the screens display a selected screen image. However, this allows videos to play on the screens if the file is taken over to vision. Wattage is a text field that allows the required wattage to be set for power consumption calculations and reporting. The Note field allows you to attach a note to the LED screen if needed. Text Options opens the Text Options dialog box to enable the display and format of text labels. Classes opens the Classes dialog box to specify class naming for the various portions of the LED screen. This allows portions of the LED screen to be set to visible, grayed, or invisible, and also textured it independently. The Update button is normally not required. However, in the case that you are not seeing a parameter update, or if you adjust it to classes, clicking the update button will cause the LED screen to update to display the current settings. The load information section is used for information related to Braceworks.